Okay guys, let's do chapter 8 of episode P3 Persona Arena Ultimax Mitsuru Ranguis Akihiko san and Mitsuru san In order to search for the Inaba Persona user, Mitsuru and I searched the school building for an exit out of the tower. But the interior of the building has been warped into a complex maze. I don't think we'll get out of that easily. Um, I'm detecting a set of stairs just up ahead. Would you please try going down a floor? Got it. Let us know if anything else comes up. This maze is rather troublesome. We must hurry on. Mitsuru mutters to herself after seeing Fuka and her conversation and her voice sounds tenser than usual. It looked like something's on her mind, so I decided to talk to her. Are you still upset at how you and his friends got caught up in this? I am, but what truly bothers me is how I cannot get a full grasp on the Sho Minazuki character, who has been behind everything. Are we sure he's a Persona user? When he fought against Labras, he didn't use a Persona. In addition to that, the one who called himself the person behind Labras has appeared and said that he had no Persona. Granted that could be an act to confuse us, but that still seems like a very unclear way of doing things. It's hard to believe that what he said was just an act. When I spoke directly with Minazuki, I saw his persona myself. This matches with what Narukami and his friends attested. Could he have an accomplice? An accomplice? Hmm. Akihiko, this is only a hypothesis, but what if there were two Minazukis to begin with? Two? You mean the one who called himself Sho and the one who called himself Minazuki are two different people? No. His personalities changed before our very eyes. There's no doubt that they're the same body. But what if this isn't a case of multiple identity disorder? What if the two truly are completely separate personalities existing in the same body? Completely separate? What do you mean? Mitsuru-senpai! I'm detecting a shadow just up ahead of you! We immediately stop talking about the boy when Fuka's voice reached us. There's only one daughter ahead of us at the end of the hallway. I don't see a way around wherever in our paths. It'd be too much trouble to try to head back. Let's break through here, Mitsuru. It seems there's no other way. The situation is growing more and more dire by the moment. We must deal with this as quickly as possible. We rush to the door and charge inside. On the other side is a normal classroom, well, normal if you ignore the visa decoration all over, with a blackboard, black turns and row of desks. The yes, ex detective of Unaba is waiting for us here. It's been a while. You two seem, seem to have made it out of your predicament. How does it feel to have been rounded, rounded up like that? This Naruto is a fake. There's no reason to doubt it, but it's well made. It could be hard to tell the difference unless you had shadow detecting abilities like Fuka. If the enemy goal wasn't to carve all pieces of our personas in battle, these accurate doubles could easily have been used as weapon against us. Enough idle conversation. Let's get this over with. We don't have a lot of time. Ring on the ring. Wait, Akihiko. As I get impatient to go into battle, Mr. Foy stopped me. <laughs> True. I guess we should listen to the fake's dying words. We may be able to gain some clues after There's all. There's something I want you to tell me before I slay you. What, what is it? it? You, you can, can ask, ask, but it doesn't mean I'll answer. Who created you fake people? Who is Minazuki? Huh. <laughs> That's, That's an odd thing to ask. ask. Didn't, Didn't you meet him yourself only a few moments, moments ago? ago? You, you should, should ask him yourself. Then again, you won't be getting that chance and you'll never leave here. Okay, Mitsuru, Akihiko. Yeah, let's do Mitsuru. Akihiko sucks. Two thousand IQ kill joy. Finally. Finally. <laughs> 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 I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. 